When Elizabeth Holmes goes on trial this fall, the patients who received erroneous test results from her company Theranos will be allowed to testify, a potentially critical piece of the case prosecutors will present to prove that her promises of using just a drop of blood to make medical diagnoses were actually fraud. In an order filed Wednesday, U.S. District Judge Edward J. Davila denied a motion by Holmes to suppress evidence of customer complaints and their test results in her criminal wire fraud trial. The ruling permits prosecutors to put patients on the witness stand as they attempt to prove that the 37-year-old former Silicon Valley CEO knew her company's technology was likely to produce inaccurate results but promoted it anyway. Attorneys for Holmes had argued that allowing prosecutors to use patient testimony, which they say is anecdotal, as evidence would violate her rights to due process. They said a company database that housed millions of test results and quality control data could have shown the technology produced accurate results, but it was lost as Duranos dissolved in the wake of Holmes' indictment in 2018. A copy was provided to prosecutors, but investigators were never able to use it because they weren't provided the encryption key needed to access its contents. Theranos dismantled the original database shortly after sending the copy to prosecutors. Holmes' attorneys blamed prosecutors for the failure to preserve access to the database that they said could have shown accurate test results, but the judge disagreed. It could just as likely contain incriminating evidence to the contrary Davila wrote. Any exculpatory value is therefore speculative in nature. Representatives for Holmes' defense team did not respond to BuzzFeed News' request for comment. The U.S. Attorney's Office declined to comment. Under a superseding indictment filed last year, Holmes and Theranos's former president and chief operating officer, Ramesh Sunny Balwani, each faced two counts of conspiracy to commit wire fraud against investors and patients, and 10 counts of wire fraud. Both Holmes and Balwani, who is facing a separate trial next year, have pleaded not guilty. Holmes' trial has been delayed multiple times due to the coronavirus pandemic and again this year after she told the court she was pregnant and due to give birth in July. Jury selection is currently scheduled to begin August 31 with the trial likely beginning the following week. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.